I want to just give you another example of uh, uh, you know implicit differentiation type problem. And so we've got another really interesting curve here. This one's called the folium of Descartes. Um, he's the guy who said, I think, therefore I am, and apparently he spent a lot of time thinking about this. So it's this funny little loopy curve like that. And its formula, right, the formula for this curve right here is given by x cubed plus y cubed equals 3xy. And so the problem that we're going to do is to find a point other than the origin uh, that has a horizontal tangent line. So if you look at the origin, you can hopefully see, you know, assuming I drew it well enough, that uh, the origin is going to have a horizontal tangent line. It's also going to have a vertical one. Um, but there's one other point on here. Right, right around here, somewhere up here, that's going to have a, a horizontal tangent line. And so we're going to find that point. Okay, so what we do, right, that's like we were doing in class today. If we uh, want to find a horizontal tangent line, well, that means that we need to take a derivative somehow. Uh, this thing, the x's and y's are all jumbled together, and so we need to use implicit differentiation on this. So let's take the derivative of both sides of this with respect to x. All right, and on the left-hand side, uh, we can just go ahead and uh, do this one straight away. Uh, the derivative of x cubed with respect to x is going to become 3x squared. We know that one. Derivative of y cubed this is really just a chain rule problem, as I've been saying over and over again. So the inside function is going to be y. We're thinking of that as a function of x. And the outside function is going to be the function that cubes things. And so the derivative of the outside function is going to be 3y squared, because right, we have to leave y in there. And the derivative of the inside function is just y prime. Now, that's going to be equal to the derivative of 3xy. So for that one, uh, we have to use the product rule since we're thinking of y as a function of x. So we're going to end up with 3y plus 3x y prime. And I'll let you fill in the details there if uh, that seems suspicious to you. Alright, well, very much like the example we did in class today where we were trying to find horizontal tangent lines using implicit differentiation, uh, what we want to do is we recognize that a uh, horizontal tangent line means that the slope of that tangent line is zero. And since derivatives correspond to slopes of tangent lines, that means that y prime should be zero. And so rather than trying to solve for y prime like we were doing in class today, what we're going to do instead is just set y prime equal to zero, and that's going to simplify our life a lot. All right, so if y prime is zero, then that term is gone, and that term is gone. And so what we're left with is that 3y must be equal to 3x squared. In other words, y must be x squared. Alright, so y has to be equal to x squared. And that doesn't exactly answer the question for us, right, because we're looking for the point on the graph where uh, it's going to have a horizontal tangent line, and this tells us just the relationship between x and y at that point. And so if we're going to find the actual point in question, what we have to do is recognize that that point lies on the folium of Descartes. In other words, it has to satisfy this equation up here. x cubed plus y cubed has to be equal to 3xy. And so we're going to use that to our advantage. We know that y must be equal to x squared at the point where this has a horizontal tangent line. So everywhere in the folium of Descartes, formula, right, the, the equation up here that dictates this curve, we're going to replace y with x squared. And so that's going to give us x cubed plus y cubed, but y is x squared, and so that's going to be x to the sixth. And that's going to be equal to 3x times x squared, which is x cubed. Now, we've got 3x cubed on the right-hand side three, uh, and an x cubed on the left-hand side. Uh, let's gather those together. So we get x to the sixth, oops, x to the sixth minus two x cubed is equal to zero. And this we know how to solve. 
factor an x cubed out of this. That leaves us with x cubed minus 2 equals 0. So we have uh, two distinct solutions to this. The first one, given by the x cubed, is going to be x equals 0. And that just verifies what we already knew from looking at the picture, that at the origin, this thing should have a horizontal tangent line. Right? So this x cubed being equal to 0 would verify that for us. Now here, the other factor, x cubed minus 2 is equal to 0. Well, that means that x cubed must be equal to 2. And that means that x is just the cube root of 2. Right, so it's 2 to the 1 third power. And lastly, just to figure out the actual point on the graph, we use the fact that y must be equal to x squared there. And so we get that x is 2 to the 1 third, y must be that thing squared, and so we have 2 to the 1 third, comma, 2 to the 2 thirds. And that's our answer.